here we go with the Acadian Parade. Starting off with a lineup of vintage cars. Look at those nice cars. Most of these go back many years. Well maintained. And the people take very good care of these vehicles. And certainly like to show them off, and rightfully so. Look at this. Nice pickup. Here's some modern, a more modern classic car. The Ford Mustang. Nice convertible. This is August 15th. And we're here in Madawaska where the temperature is just perfect for this festival parade. 75 degrees, a good breeze, low humidity, and certainly some nice vehicles to start off this parade. The GTO. Oh, many, many vehicles this year. Another Mustang. A Chevy Malibu, nice! A 64 Chevy pickup. What a classic. And of course, who could overlook the Corvette? Nice, Bill! Oh, Corvette Stingray! Look at these Corvettes. These are classic cars. You can't forget these cars. These were so popular and still are. This is almost a Corvette club. As part of the Acadian Festival, this year they have a show of, of antique and classic cars, and this is certainly a part of it. Custom Cruiser. And of course, they're being protected by the Madawaska Police Department. As you can see, the people are lined up the entire parade route. And this goes well into the town of Madawaska. <laughs> now that the classic cars have gone by, the rest of the parade for the Circadian Festival 2021 is about ready to come down and go through the town of Madawaska. What a year it has been. And people were anxious to come out, and they certainly have, at this Acadian Festival. The events have drawn people from all over that have come back home to visit and be part and enjoy the Circadian Festival. The beginning of the parade is protected by the Madawaska Police Department, as well as the sheriffs here in Aroostook County. 
Also in the parade, other customs in Border Patrol. Young and old are here to enjoy the parade. And now the officials of the Acadian Festival. The town manager of Madawaska. <laughs> Followed by all the Democrats. The different political parties are all here. How are you? Hey, Roger, how are you? These are the people that make the laws, that govern and protect us. Something ma. <laughs> As part of the Acadian Festival, each year, they celebrate an Acadian family name. This started in 1980. Tradition has continued until today. These are the crests of the different families. The Sears, all dressed in Acadian clothes, And like all the Kidian traditions, lots of fiddles, singing, and dancing. And these are the Sear family. These are the local musicians. <laughs> And more Sears. And the Sear family, probably the biggest family name that we have in the St. John Valley. And certainly, lots of families, lots of traditions. And here we have the Heberts. Eber in French, very Acadian, one of the original Acadian names that came in to the area in 1785. And of course, the Dufours. Certainly, in the St. John Valley. Hello, Gerald. Come on, ça va? Hi, B. And of course, Les Ayotte. Come on, ça va? Oh, Moutade. Vous voulez pas marcher, hein? Ah, non. Ah, bien, bien. <laughs> and here we have the Pelleteers, another way Acadian name, followed by the Wallets. These are names that have continued in the St. John Valley, large Acadian families. And the Sirwa Duplessis. They held the reunion in 1991 and are here to continue the traditions of their families. Les Côté, certainly in bonne famille acadienne. 
Tu dis où ouais. Ah, oh, il dit où ouais. Comment ça La famille Roy. Puis les Dubé. Followed by les Nadio. Hein? Vous avez pris une belle journée pour avoir le festival. C'est parfait. Ah! And here come the Michos, another large Acadian family. <laughs> and the Jandros. Followed by Legacy. Parfait. Bonne journée. These are the American Legion. Here in Madawaska. Very nice. Hello, how are you? I thought you were in Fort Kent. Oh, you change every day. <laughs> and followed by the Legionnaires, you've got the Auxiliary. These support the Legionnaires. Look, giving out flags to all the people. And the Shriners. These are little go karts, how are you? This year, the Shriners have been supporting kids for a long time. And clearly, they're doing it today. Hey, lots of bubbles for lots of kids. And the cows. Mr. Rowdy the Sheriff, how are you? And giving things to the kids. And some of the vendors, clearly North State Credit Union. Certainly so an active partner, financial in town. More North State vehicles. Hi. 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 How are you? They are North State in the different communities in the valley. And these are the American Legion riders from Madawaska. Actually, from different parts of the county. Nice. Very active, doing many things for the elderly. Now, What's and here, here we have, and your name is? Megabyte. What's your name, camera? Yes, it is. Oh, I knew. Now, now do you have any candy for us? Sticker. Oh, that's good to me. Yeah, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. The American Legion Riders. And here are the Scouts. From Madawaska. Very, certainly a club, very good, very active for the young people. And it says it all, join the Scouts. Troop 190 in Madawaska. Parents, you're right. Hi. Very good. The scouts are very active in Madawaska. As you can see, they've taken the time to decorate these vehicles and trailers to represent scouting.
Troop 161, the Girl Scouts in Madawaska. Active in community service. These are next year's or our future leaders with a good base by getting into the scout. How are you? So what grades are you in? Nice. And vendors, central building supply. Very active and a big part of the Madawaska and the area community. First parody shop and save. Very big part of the community. Plenty of paper products that are being made right here in Madawaska at Twin Rivers. This parade goes on and on. People lined up the entire length of the road. All the way into town. D&G gun sales. And this is Ridgewood. Nice, for sure. <laughs> Ridgewood, one of the, we're fortunate to have such facilities here in the valley. They're here in Madawaska. How are you? Very good. Ah. Northern Maine Medical Center providing health services in Fort Kent, Madawaska and for the entire area. Very nice. Certainly the staff. <laughs> health care is their responsibility. and the Grand Isle Historical Society. George? Keeping our history going. Very nice. And of course, the American Red Cross. Always there when we need them. In times of rescue. Very good, how are you? Thank you, thank you to the Red Cross. And this one, another Red Cross vehicle, it says it all, 140 years of service to us. And this is Ed Pelletier and Sons, a large construction company that does projects all over the St. John Valley, all over the area. Ed Pelletier. Not only a big employer, but also provides us some great roads for us to drive on and to... <laughs> Lots of equipment. And some of the kids are seeing some of their friends out here. Join the parade. Ed Pelletier. Contractor. A lot of work has gone in 
to the company to get these vehicles ready for the parade. Very nice! Hey! A new life! <laughs> This is huge equipment. They do an excellent job on our roads. A huge excavator. You can see the line continues. Lots of people here enjoying the Acadian Festival Parade. The Ed Pelletier's equipment. Everybody's admiring the size of these vehicles. They are huge. Nice. Large grader from Ed Pelletier and Sons. And another provider of health services in this area, Fish River Rural Health. Active in different communities up and down the valley, including here in Madawaska. <laughs> Dental, op optometry, lots of services. <laughs> And Daigle Oil Company. Certainly keeping our homes warm in winter with fuel oil, our gas, for our cars and our vehicles, and service to the entire St. John Valley. And High View Manor. Certainly a great addition to this area. Very good. Hi. Nice. How are you? Hi. Hi view. Very important for the elderly here in the St. John Valley. And the Anna Temple Band.
and the Madawaska ATV Club. Certainly providing service, keeping the trails open for recreation and economics in the St. John Valley. How are you? and Fort Kent Power Sports. Snowmobiles, boats, pontoons, wharfs, you name it. Lots of recreational equipment and vehicles for people to enjoy. And the Four Seasons in Madawaska, a recreational area for young and old. Lots of good cross-country skiing in the wintertime, biking in the summer, and even rollerblading. a volunteer led initiative here at Madawaska. They have done well. Good place for healthy exercise. And of course, people supporting our troops. Oh yeah! Nice! In an area that has a lot of military veterans, this group really supports our troops. And of course, the Shriners with their little go karts. They're entertaining. These are adults having fun. Not only are these individuals having fun, but their work is all for kids. They may be kids, they may be adults, but they're kids at heart. And their hearts are into it. As they raise money for the Shriners Hospital that takes care of children all over the country. They raise money specifically for children who have needs of hospital services. Hi. Here we have an unusual group Hut. Everybody gets involved in this parade. Now tell me what you represent. Pelleteers? 
sewer services. Excellent. <laughs> when in need, call Pelletier's sewer services. But don't stay too close to the truck. Sometimes they flush. Certainly a necessary service here in Northern Maine. Not only do they provide sewer services, but they also have these porta potties that they rent out for parties, for picnics, for any event that needs sanitary services. have an Acadian family. <laughs> yeah. Now tell me, what are you, what is this? Tell me what it is. <laughs> ah, you're Acadian. Very good. Now, what, it's for the Acadian. Very good. And the festival organizers. Now this is the Acadian official float for the Acadian festival. They are the ones that have put on this Acadian festival here in Madawaska. Although the parade is winding down, it still has a long way to go before it reaches the other end of town where thousands of people are lined up watching this parade. And these are the people that dedicate themselves protecting us, the Grand Isle Fire Department. All volunteers that give up their time, their families, just to protect us. This is North Lakes to protect the areas outside of the towns themselves. Although people are enjoying the sirens, when you hear them under normal circumstances, it gives you the shivers. Santa Gut, Volunteer Fire Department. Roy. And the town of St. Agatha with their equipment. How you doing, Dan? <laughs> and the town of Frenchville. And others supporting this area. There's a lot 
lot of cooperation between the fire departments up and down the valley. It's called mutual aid, where one or all come to the rescue or the help of others. Madawaska Fire Department. More equipment from Madawaska. These people are always giving up their time when we call and we are in need of services. The fire departments up and down the valley. And of course the main forest service. We know them by smoking the bear, but certainly they're here to protect us and the area that we have around us. This is the end of the Acadian Festival Parade 2021 here in the town of Madawaska. People at the other end of town are just starting to enjoy the parade. It's been at least a mile long. I'd really like to thank the Acadian Festival Committee that puts on these events, especially the the parade which draws so many people to this area.